is a term used to describe the study of the past magnetic field of Earth. Though Earth's magnetic field is invisible to the eye, some animals and birds can actually detect the Earth's magnetic field. The bogong moth, yes, I said that correctly, the bogong moth was the first nocturnal insect to use the magnetic field of Earth during migration. Birds in general have a special magnetometer in their beaks that help them detect Earth's magnetic field. You might be asking yourself, how did the birds know when to migrate exactly? Well, they watch the feather channel. Poles are not in directly opposite positions on the globe. And the direction a compass points differs from our true northern direction because the Earth's magnetic field is tilted roughly 11 degrees off of the Earth's axis. What did the compass say to the Earth? Well, you've got a magnetic personality. The North Pole features the South Geomagnetic Pole of Earth, and the South Pole features the North Geomagnetic Pole. Where do the magnets play baseball? In a magnetic field, of course, aka a geomagnetic field. The magnetic field extends from Earth's interior out into space where it meets the solar wind. This protects Earth from the sun's rays by shredding solar electrons to prevent hot solar waves that would otherwise crisp the earth kind of like a mama bear protecting her cubs moving metal in earth's outer core along with electric currents and the rotation of the earth and its core generate our magnetic field it can be attributed to a dynamo effect of circulating electric currents but it is not constant in direction no 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 the strength of Earth's magnetic field differs depending on where you are on the globe, but its intensity is greatest at the poles. And not the slopes, folks, the poles. Earth's magnetic field is unstable and has changed often throughout history, most recently decreasing in strength by about 7% since 1835. These magnetic reversals lead to extinction events. The magnetic field can change very quickly, even within an hour in magnetic storms. The orientation of Earth's magnetic field can also change slowly over the course of centuries. Earth's magnetic field has actually already reversed itself many times, with North becoming South and vice versa. But at the moment, the South Pole really looks up to the North Pole. This happens on average every 300,000 years, about as often as it takes to move up in line at the DMV. <laughs> Am I right? Scientists use magnetic fossils to study Earth's magnetic field. This is how they know that the magnetic field of Earth changes. 90% of the Earth's magnetic field is below the planet's surface, and the external 10% of it is generated by the movement of ions in Earth's upper atmosphere. Earth's magnetic field is similar to that of a bar magnet. However, magnets on Earth have a greater magnetic force than Earth's magnetic field does. The Earth's magnetic field can also be used in other ways. For example, an instrument called a geomagnetic electrokineticograph determines the direction and speed of ocean currents while a ship is moving by measuring the voltage induced in the moving conductive seawater by the magnetic field of Earth, which is really freaking cool. Now, that is Earth's magnetic field in just a little bit of depth.